with a hair on my lip and it's hung it off. With a hair on my lip, there we go. Alright, bitch. Your bitch is back and late to the party as fucking usual. Her nails are done, her eyebrows are done, she's waxed, she's good. And welcome back to my channel. <laughs> hi, I hope you're okay. I hope you've been keeping well. Um, if you're new here, hi. Thank you. Thanks for subscribing, darling. I love it. Honestly, I didn't expect it and all the reaction that I've had from my reactions and my opinions. Even though I did get some hate, huh? <coughs> bitch. Uh, that was really bad. But um, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below. If you're new, like I've just sort of explained and been very thankful for because it means the world. My real name is Laura, but for some reason people call me Slav. Bitch, I don't know why, but we just roll with it okay. But today's video, and she's late to the party once again, it's an explanation why she's been away for about two weeks. I've been very busy working. It got a bit uh, busy with vomit down my leg from clients and leaks and breaks and the UK opening up again with pubs and booking tables. So yeah, we've been a bit busy, bitch. We got these good. We're good, bitch. But what the fuck is that? Ugh. But we are going to react to semi-final one's running order. I've never done this before. So you better just roll with me, please. And I do have, I to be fair, I did ask you guys to send me your opinions and your running orders, not running orders, your top uh, six things. There's only 16 in this one. Um, and why? Thank you to those who did, one of you. Thank you very much. Love you long time. They will also be featured in here, not physically or in person or over camera, but their, their thoughts and their running order. What I will do, I will discuss theirs or go through theirs and compare it to mine. Um, and I'll also go through the running order as well and what I think it should have been. Who will qualify? Who will be a shock qualifier, shock disqualifier and who will not qualify at all? My lips are fucking huge. I don't even have filler. What the fuck? Anyway, let's get this pussy popping, bitch. Get yourself a cup of tea. Get yourself some grassa. Get yourself... Listen, just make yourself comfortable, man. I'm 25 in a few months. Listen, just get yourself comfortable. My pussy shaved. Let's go. To start with, I just want to make you aware that these running orders, um, from what I've heard from a bit of tea spillage, are to do with how many props the band or the artist has. Um, so that's why it's in that particular running order. Um, yeah, a bit of inside knowledge there, but we won't let the snake out the bag because he's a nice guy. Um, so if you haven't seen it, this is a fuck off light. This is a running order. Oh my God, this light is being Jimmy Savile. This is a running order. Let me, let me just, there you go. Fuck off, like, if you haven't seen it, the running order is as follows. Number one, you have Lithuania. Two, Slovenia. Two, wow, I'm not swearing in English. Anyone who doesn't know that means fuck off or piss off in English or up yours in English. Two, we have Slovenia. Okay. Three, Russia. Four, Sweden. Five, Australia. Oh, the accent came out. Australia. Uh, six, North Macedonia, uh, seven, Ireland, eight, Cyprus, nine, Norway, ten, Croatia, eleven, Belgium, twelve, Israel, uh, thirteen, Romania, fourteen, Azerbaijan, fuck off with all your comments about the way I say it, get in the trash, fifteen, Ukraine, and sixteen, Malta. Now, I, from what I've seen, I don't really understand this death spot situation. I have, I mean, this is probably the strangest running order I've seen in a few years. There have been better. Um, but you also need to go by the artists and props. So, I don't understand this death spot situation. Please, someone comment below and just tell me what it's all about because I'm confused. But if I was part of the EBU, I would not put Lithuania first. I would put them probably a 10th or 11th in that running order. Just at the fact that you're going to start slow and then build. If you start head first straight away, they're easily going to be forgotten. I know it sounds completely stupid, but they will be easily forgotten. Um, 
Not that I fear for Lithuania anyway, because we all know they're good and they're the underdog, as I said in my other video. They got fucking copyrighted, bitch. What the hell? Fuck off with your shit. Um, Slovenia in the death spot at number two. I fear for her in a way, just at the fact that I don't want her to be forgotten. And I feel like she's going to get drowned out. But all these big numbers that are actually in this semi-final is pretty much a bloodbath. Why would you do a bloodbath in semi-final one? To be honest with you, I think there should have been an equal balance. Like there's so much going on in semi-final one that you're going to lose it in semi-final two. And it doesn't really make sense to have that. If you had the equal balance, so for example, and just an example, you had Israel in semi-final two and you had um, Azerbaijan in semi-final two because they're upbeat, they're, they're funky and all this palaver. Um, and you had, for example, Russia in semi-final two. That would break it out a bit and you could sort of other countries that are actually in semi-final two, like Denmark um, or who is it? San Marino or Latvia or Switzerland or Serbia even, just to break it up a little and you've got that even balance between the two, it, it, it kind of would make more sense. But obviously it's the EBU's decision and the guy who's doing the running order. So there we go. Russia, I don't know, man. I fear for her, I think. Like she, she'll qualify, she will qualify. But a part of me inside says that she may be the shocker. She may be the shock non qualifier. I really need to wash my hair after being caught in the rain today in London. Wow. London life. She, she, mm. there's a small part of me that's a bit worried for her. Um, I feel like she just needs a little bit more on stage and it will just push her a bit more. Um, Sweden, we don't need to worry about Sweden. That's my homeland. We're good. Um, the only thing I'd say is silver in those braids to match your shoes. You will look Un fucking real I will queef, I will squirt, I will piss on people's faces. I will be very, very surprised and I will make a video of me eating my underwear if Sweden do not qualify. And people will people literally just come in or find me on Instagram or whatever or Twitter and remind me if Sweden don't get through, I will post a video of me eating my clean underwear. I ain't eating Punani. No, that's not me. I love lesbians. I've kissed girls. I've had a few things with girls. But it's not for me. I like sausage. And I like big sausage. Hmm. Australia. Is she even going? If she does go, then I want a lot more from her. I still want Priscilla Quinn in the desert. I do. I do. I, and I want this Joseph and the Technicolor dream coat sort of thing. I don't know why she's being so small with it when there's such a large song there and so much potential so i don't know I, i'm 50 50 about montaigne um i mean the song's a lot better than last year and i did love last year's as well but um yeah i mean i just i don't know there, there's something holding her back and i would love to know what it is even if it is the, her live tape and she has to be seen via live stream I would just want a lot more from her. Unless she's hiding something. Unless she's hiding something and we don't know shit. Which is most likely the case. So we love you anyway, Koala. But there we go. Um, North Macedonia. Listen, Vasil. North Macedonia. North Macedonia. <laughs> oh, bitch. Um, my legs are so skinny. What the hell? Looking on a bone. Hello, Slav. Um, I don't need to say anything about this guy. He's on his own. I love Vassil. Vassil is one of my favourites of ballads this year. He will qualify because we need that diverse mix there. And he doesn't need people on stage. He just needs himself or the bar minimum on stage. Because he will prove, not that he needs to because he doesn't, but he will prove he can sing and he will prove his ability. And it will silence a lot of people. I will admit it will silence a lot of people and I'll be fucking happy for that. So you got bish, we love you, okay? Listen, I will I will stand by your side. I don't even care. I will be by your side from the start to the very end. 
and afterwards if people are going to still give you hate that's it all honestly don't worry about it ireland as much as i love madame leslie she's a very very lovely um artist and seems like a very, very lovely lady i don't think she'll qualify i don't okay she'll build the audience she will build the audience and it's encouraging on my heart she'll build it um i'm i'm worried that there may be too much building and then something will overpower her and then she will just be withdrawn or she will not go through and it, it may not not shock her because she's probably whatever whatever happens happens in this case but it may sort of knock her a little bit if you know what i mean um and that's an, is that another one that's on her own I'm pretty sure that's another one that's on her own. Cyprus, we don't need to worry about that. Just get a bath and head and shoulders with red latex, a few condoms and yourself and we're good. El Diablo can pop out with an erection. That's why we got the condoms and the latex bath. We love the head and shoulders, bitch. I do need to do these routes. You're just qualifying. Norway. Okay. Can I, for the 10th millionth time, formally make an apology two ticks because i did not know who was properly in my reaction you can see on my channel um and i had a few glasses of wine and wine drunk laura or wine drunk slav can sometimes be a bitch so i fully apologize to ticks i doubt he will see this and i doubt he will care but i don't i don't think he'll qualify personally but don't hate me, please. Everyone is entitled to an opinion. You bunch of Karens, sucker clitoris. I don't think personally he will qualify. I don't. I, I just something's telling me that he may fall behind and he may give you all of the big I am. Not that he needs to because I'm, I'm I haven't seen much of his promo, but he may give it all the big I am. But we've seen artists when they give the big I am. They then don't qualify, and I'm I'm frightened that they that might happen to ticks, um. But something something telling me just won't qualify in my eyes. Um, Croatia, bitch, that's gonna qualify anyway. It's a party song. Albina's beautiful. I am so happy she kept the Croatian um segment though in her song. I'm gonna burp. No, I'm not. That's vomit. Ugh, acid reflux. Belgium ain't qualifying. Don't like it. Don't care what anyone says. You can be as nasty as to me as you like. I've been through worse. I've nearly had my hair set on fire. I have got scars from domestic abuse. I don't care what you say to me. Belgium are not qualifying. They are boring. The lead singer should go solo and solo only and come back next year with an upbeat, more happier song. <coughs> Throw me in the trash, but that's exactly how I feel. In the words of the band, you still need rice. Israel, I'm, she'll qualify, 100% qualify, I've got a really bad throat, can you hear it, um, sucking too much dick, <laughs> um, she'll qualify, Miss Eden, um, I want to know if she was going to do that whistle tone on stage, I really, really do want to know if she can do that whistle tone on stage, um, but yeah, she'll qualify, I'm just, I'm scared that she's going to burn out her vocal cords, because normally when you whistle tone, if you don't do it correctly and have that correct posture, you can either burn out your vocal cords or cause a hole in your vocal cords that will put you on vocal rest and surgery, then you will be out of Eurovision. That's the only minor, minor thing that's worrying me with her. But other than that, bitch, she's cool. She's good. We love her. Yes, Miss Thing with a melanin. Come through, bitch. Romania. That's it. Okay, I don't, I don't want to be bizarre here, but it's a bit like Vassil. That will go through. It's a strong message. It's to do with mental health. I suffer from mental health. I'm sure plenty of you guys do too. Um, if you don't believe mental health exists, then suck your mum, bitch. That will qualify on a 50-50 chance. That may just scrape it, but I love Roxon anyway. Azerbaijan. Well, misting. Now, please tell me why I get that you were miming on that TV show in Baku. But why did you look as if you were staring at it like, like you're, you're meant to be miming 
not standing there going Baba Harry. like what what i didn't i didn't understand it and it was a bit of a letdown i i don't get why but to me it's a bit of a letdown she may not qualify and to be honest i couldn't really care because it's it the song's a bit dead now shoot me i'm sorry as a i know i've got a lot of um love on that video but it's a bit dead now i will be reacting to her slow version though um and i'll probably release it tomorrow because i know apparently that's meant to be very 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 good and it, i've heard that it's a bit better than the original and she should have sent the slow version we never know anyway ukraine I need to be tripped out on wine, on Jagermeister, I can't say it properly, hush your gums, on Jagermeister, I need to be tripped out on rum, on Malibu, give me some Ukraine and I am there. I qualify. And Malta, I don't need to, she's a winner, she, she's going to win this complete whole semi-final, I don't care. I do have my yellow suit though, or is it red? Or is it red? I've got two suits for the group, by the way. So, yeah, anyway, let's try and compare these to one of my followers. So, a lovely follower called Ethan. Hi, darling. Thank you. <laughs> the only one that did, thank you, uh, messaged me his top 16 for semi final one and explaining why. Now, my top 16, just to start with, would be Malta, um, Cyprus, Sweden. Uh, la, 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 Israel, North Macedonia, um, Ukraine, Russia, who haven't I said? Who haven't I said? Ireland, Australia, Croatia, um, Azerbaijan, Belgium, Romania, Norway, Slovenia. Have I missed someone? Have I missed someone? I have. No, I haven't. Who have I missed? Cyprus, no. If I've missed someone, can you tell me? Whoever I've missed is the bottom one. But Ethan, and I think he's kind of got a bit of taste here, but I would change North Macedonia just at the fact that I'm in full support of us. I don't even care. He's put his prediction as one Malta, Two Sweden, three Lithuania, four Cyprus, five Russia. Oh, it's Belgium. Yeah, Belgium's last in the trash, you guy, bitch. Um, six Belgium, seven Romania, eight Ireland, nine Azerbaijan, ten Ukraine, eleven Israel, twelve Slovenia, um, thirteen Norway, fourteen Croatia, fifteen Australia, and sixteen North Macedonia. Um, and he's actually given me a little paragraph as to why. So, Ethan says, Malta is definitely winning the semi-final. Straight up, facts. Um, it will win the jury vote and performing last is going to make it dominate the televote. Now, you say that, if you remember in the final with Norway in 2019 with Kano, they didn't perform last, but they dominated the televote. So, if in the final, for example, she went in the second half and dominate the televote then and then eventually went on to win it it would be a lead on like a leading streak um which to be fair would make sense but it also at the same time it won't make you forget so for example like embers here we go again being patriotic um like embers praying to god that doesn't go in the second half it will go halfway through because then you'll remember it and it's fresh or beginning of the second half because it's fresh in your mind Whereas, obviously, if someone like, um, I don't know, for example, who don't we like? Norway. Um, or actually, no, Belgium. Sorry, I'm going to keep picking on Belgium, but the song is just dead. Um, they will be forgotten. It's a bit like Latvia 2019 with Carousel. They were easily forgotten. And Slovenia 2019 with them two bastards. Well, the guy is rude, she's not. They were easily forgotten. Not the fact that that attitude was purely disgusting, just that the fact that that song was very slow, very mellow. I went for a piss. I went to the shop. I got a bottle of wine and I drove, got a bottle of wine and I come back and the song was still on. 
still on. Then I forgot it a few weeks later. Not even a few weeks later. So that that sort of thing there, that's what you also need to look out for as well. Um, it's hard to pick a shot qualifier since they all deserve to qualify, which is very true, darling. Um, and it's such a tough semi-final. Yes, bitch, this is a bloodbath. This whole thing is a fucking bloodbath. The second one, I wouldn't say it's a bloodbath. It's probably a women's period on day three, but there we go. Um, however, Belgium will shock some and it will be a top five at least. See, I disagree. As I've made it very, very aware, I disagree. They won't qualify. As I've said, they're pretty much like Latvia 2019 of Carousel. Um, yeah, I, I don't think they will personally. I think the shock qualifier will be norway or um slovenia i do i think it may be one of those two that's a shot qualifier um and be top five and at least in the jury vote stands out enough to be top 10 in televote i don't know about that one bish that's not about belgium i also think ireland is going to make the uh is going to surprise the most live um but it still won't sell through Luck of the Irish. It is probably going to be Luck of the Irish. I'm sure she's a lovely lady, but from how it's going now and not much promo, the way I've seen like San Marino, Baby Girl is with Poland at the minute. I have no idea what she's doing there. I think she's just doing a pre recorded performance. Um, yeah, I haven't really seen much of that in Ireland. So my oh, my past accent is really coming out today. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Um, I haven't really seen that with them, so I don't really think she will. So I can agree to disagree. Um, but yeah, I love Croatia, but I can see this being the entry that everyone. Do you know what? I think Azerbaijan will be that um, thingy this year that will be robbed. I do, and I don't know why. Um, but for me, yeah, Azerbaijan will be robbed. Um, shot qualifier, maybe Slovenia. Shock non-qualifier, Israel. Out of nowhere, Israel. Someone just turned my camera off and there's no one here, but okay. Um, Probably my granddad coming in, it's his birthday tomorrow and he died last year. Um, But all my qualifiers, I've, I've literally, I will even put my top 10, I'm on the app as well. Um, Yeah, and things like that. I just, mm, because it's such a bloodbath, it's so hard and it all depends on their promo. And also the televote. And obviously, I'm in the UK, so I can't vote in the semi-finals. And it's with certain other countries as well. They can't vote in the semi-finals. So, it is going to be very, very hard. But I would love to know your thoughts. I'm going to round off here because that just freaked the fuck out of me. Someone just turned my camera off. Okay. Um, And it's my partner's birthday in Saturday, so I need to get stuff prepared. But... Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'd love to know your thoughts. Sorry I've been away for so long. The slow version of Azerbaijan, the reaction to it, will be tomorrow. Um, and then semi-final two reaction will be next week because the boyfriend has a birthday. Got to get him drunk. <laughs> um, uh -uh, can't talk. But don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to follow all my socials as well. If you have any opinions, comments or thoughts, you can either comment them down below or follow me on all my socials. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.